All right, well, this is gonna be a really fun vlog for us to make. We, as a married couple, we have lived in six homes together and that is six homes in seven years is that pretty crazy that's pretty crazy so we are gonna go buy every single house that we have lived in together as a married couple and we're gonna bring you guys along with us okay we are just about to our first home together but we're driving past the place that we met for the very first time so i'm going to just show you guys real fast oh my gosh it's here the snow it's cone machine too. shut up that little snow shack oh my gosh this is the first place we met it was right there on that corner oh my these gas pumps right here we're not here uh thomas has allergies severely so he's not very happy right now <laughs> Jeez. this is the hood where things got good it's funny to think though that we met right here on this corner and then our first house together was behind right here. It was right there. Yeah, that's weird because this is not like where we ever hung out. Like no. this wasn't like stomping grounds uh -uh. for either of us. We were all, we only came here one Mine's, time. My like kick it ground was far that way, hers was far this way. Yeah. Different schools. Different schools. But literally that same exact white fence yeah. and everything. Everything about this whole setup. <laughs> we hung out right the there. That's so cool. My best friend lived in this townhouse and then that one was ours. Aren't they so cute? So this is the very first house that we lived in together. Yeah. I had my Evo when I lived there. Yes. I used to drive the Evo 10. And when I started, it shook up the neighborhood. Yeah, it did. Whoa. So like I said, my best friend Brittany and her husband lived in that house next to us. Well, next door were this couple and they were going on a, a two year service mission for um, our church. And they were like, we want someone to just like house it. Well, that was like right when me and Thomas were getting married. She's like, I know a couple that's getting married right now and they're looking for a place. So she kind of hooked us up with this deal where we only paid the utilities. We got to live there rent free. It was hecka cool, right? It was hecka cool. It was hecka cool. I moved in in August of 2010 and then we were going to be married on October 25th and 2010 so like in three months and oh wait no no I won't no September 9th yeah. I, I can't keep my date straight that's our real anniversary okay so we were supposed to be married a month later and we never got married so I lived there and for a year by myself and then Thomas moved in after when we got married so this is October the next year and we only lived there till Christmas so um, like December so October November December we lived there for three months together as a couple and then um, we still technically had the house but we moved into my parents house so we'll show you guys that is house number two this was in my parents basement so we went from our townhouse we moved into my parents basement when we moved in it was just like an unfinished room like one big room that was unfinished and they put a kitchen in there and they put a, a family room and then we had like our bedroom off to the side so it was one room like a studio apartment style so we had like the kitchen the living room and our bed and then the boys they just shared a crib at the base of the bed all in one room and I can remember, it was so ridiculous. We had so th this tiny space, and we thought it would be smart to go get this massive, I mean, the bed that we bought was so outrageously huge, I would never, it wouldn't even fit in the house we have now. I don't know what we were thinking. We had to get a step stool to get onto the bed. It was so tall, and it was like a California king. It was huge. So I think back to that, I'm like, what? What were we thinking doing that? Like, it took up half the room. So. That is one funny memory that I have, but what made us finally decide to move out is when I got pregnant with Milo. So we had the twins down there, and then I got pregnant with Milo, like on their first birthday, I found out I was pregnant. And I was like, there is no way in heck we're about to have five people in this tiny studio apartment. So that is what took us to house number three.
house number three. So after we moved out of my mom and dad's basement, this was the first house that we lived in together. And we could go on and on and on with this house. I think this house probably has the most story behind it. The most, I don't know, just like lots of good, lots of bad things happened here. Um, this was the house that my, we brought Milo home to for the first time and this is also the house that he passed away in. And so when that happened, we just wanted to get out of it as fast as possible. But we will say it was freaking haunted. If you guys want another vlog about that, we could tell you an entire video of scary things that happened in that house. Like, um, it was it's like one of those things where when you move into the house and the first night there's like 20 creepy things that happen and when you're watching a scary movie and this is happening in the movie and you're like, get out of the house, like what's wrong with you? Why wouldn't you just move? Why wouldn't you move? That was us. Why did we stay? I don't know. It's, it's weird that we kept freaking living in that house after every single day something creepy happened. We'd have guests come over and creepy things would happen to them and they're like, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't wanna go on and on and on about that. But that was our third house that we lived in. Um, we signed a one year lease. Milo passed away in May and our lease was up in August. And we, I remember, so it's three stories. Uh, all of the bedrooms were up at the very top and we didn't go upstairs again until we moved out. We'd we'd run up there to grab like clothes, but we didn't stay up there. We, we threw a mattress in the very basement um, and all of us slept on the mattress. We didn't go upstairs again. That's like where, that's where Milo passed away. And I don't know, we just had like, we, we always had a weird feeling up there. Like even from the first day, do you remember that? Something I will say about. my favorite part about living in that house is one of my best friends, Jarrett, and my one of my coaches also friend coach brother whatever he worked down here as a bouncer at the bars and i like on 25th street historic 25th street yeah where all like the businesses are and we only live like three blocks up so i would ride my bike down every night hang out with him and then ride my bike home i like being downtown yeah that was cool this house that we're talking about <laughs> um was over 100 years old and it was like in the historic district of our town and 25th street if you guys are not in utah just look up ogden and the historical district it is so cool so like when we saw this house listed to rent we were like oh my gosh we totally that would be such a cool experience to, to live on? there for a while i think this is a farmer's market no yeah there's just always things bumping and happening downtown on 25th street and so that's where that house was This is house number four. We're doing this on a different day, and so we are wearing different attire because this is a different day. Check it out. Oh, look at those, babe, in the front that we planted forever ago. Oh my gosh. Look. Okay, so we planted these trees. There was no trees in the front, and those three little pine trees. And then this pine tree right here, we had like a really cute pathway that is not there anymore with flowers. <laughs> so the reason we feel comfortable getting out here is because this is Thomas's mom's house is where she lives now. We completely gutted this house. We put AC in, we got all new appliances, um, new heater, all new doors, all new sheetrock, all new paint, carpet, I mean everything. And so we did all that and then we moved from this house after one year of living here. Um, we moved Thomas's mom back in the house. We moved her out. She was running a house while we did this, while we like fixed it up, and now she lives here again. So she's very grateful that she now has AC. She didn't have a swamp cooler, she didn't have AC or heat or anything. So we put all that in for her, and then she was able to move back in. So I think the style that we picked for this house is not like what I'm into anymore, but it's still like it, it was still really beautiful. I'm gonna actually show you some before and after pictures right here. bathroom i don't know if we ever got pictures of it so just in case we didn't 
This was really pretty. And then we got new flooring here. We had someone come and do tile in the tub. So yeah, this was really pretty. And this was the master bathroom. Oh, yes. I think that they weren't even working or functioning when we moved in. So we did do a ton of work here. Oh my gosh. I forgot how bad I hated this drive. It was such an ugly drive, like just sagebrush and dead things. And steep. And it's very steep. In the winter, this was not fun to drive on. And actually but, it was amazing to drive on. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, love I will say, this is where the vlogging began. So you guys, you guys are familiar with this house. My adventurous tendencies were exploited at this home because everyone caught everything I did on camera. Yeah. We had our friend Johnny who did our vlogs for us and he edited them and filmed them and it was fun. We had like a, we did have a lot of fun at this house. We lived here for one year almost to the day. One year of crazy fun adventure and I will let a few slides right here just roll by of some of the fun we had in this house. I'm not gonna shoot him again. And then you know where house number six is. Ah! This one for sure is our favorite. This is called the Thomas doesn't have a forehead house. <laughs> yeah. Okay, no, really though, I feel like this is where we finally feel like we're home. <laughs> sure. I feel like I'm the problem. opposite of the man <laughs> on Tool Time Taylor. You know how they only show this part of his body? Oh. I only get seen this part. <laughs> oh my gosh. You you are you know enough about this house. I mean you've been here this whole time. I've spent that. the last two years almost working two years. on this house. Guys, wait, that's a record for us. If you haven't noticed, this is a record for us. We've been here for two years. Yeah. This August is two years. Can you hear me? <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. <I'm pretty laughs> Hopefully we're here forever in eternity and that's all the houses that we'll have to ever show you. <laughs> what am I trying to say? I don't know, but why are you holding me here? <laughs> okay. We will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.